Hi and welcome to a new Quick Edit video. Today with another composite image and you can already see the raw shot. I have opened a Lightroom. Basically I want to keep all those trees in the foreground and replace the sky with a nice Milky Way shot. Therefore I am going to do the most part in Photoshop and I will be also using the TK V6 panel plugin for Photoshop which will help me make this rather complex selection. But first let's start with the before and after images. Okay then before I edit this shot in Photoshop I'm doing some quick changes in Lightroom. First I'm going to the lens correction tab and I activate those settings. Then I want to change the profile to Adobe Standard which will boost the shadows a little bit. And I also want to adjust the white balance. I think I need to make the foreground a little bit warmer so I'm increasing the temperature. And I also want to remove the tint. Now to further boost the shadows I'm just increasing them. I'm also increasing the whites a little bit. This will not only brighten up the trees in the foreground but also the sky which will make it easier to replace later in Photoshop. Then I'm increasing the clarity just to get some nice structure in the trees and then also add some vibrance. Okay. Now for this shot there aren't any local adjustments. Also I'm doing the color grading later in Photoshop maybe. All there is left to do is to add some sharpening to this picture. And that's it for the Lightroom part. I can now open it up in Photoshop. Okay and let's start with the most annoying part of this post-processing. Let's replace the sky. Uh, first I need to make a selection and as said before I'm using the TK V6 panel uh, to create custom luminosity masks. If you'd like to see this process in greater detail I suggest uh, watching an older compositing video of mine on my YouTube channel. For now I want to go through this process rather fast. So let me create the lights masks. And as you can see the TK panel plugin has created those six new light masks. I'm now looking for the layer which separates the sky the most from the foreground. In this case I'm going with lights too. And I am just duplicating that one. Now I want to further work on the separation between the sky and the trees. Basically I want to get the sky as white as possible. So first I'm opening up the levels tab by pressing Ctrl L. And let me drag that slider to the left a little bit. And the middle one to the right. Now we get this nice contrast. Okay. And as it's still not perfect, I'm going to use the brush tool now with the mode set to overlay and the opacity set to 100% and I'm going to choose a white color. And as you can see, the brush is now only affecting brighter areas of the image because I set the mode to overlay. Okay, and I'm also doing this for the darker areas. Therefore, I'm just switching the colors, which means I have a black foreground color. And I also reduced the opacity to 80% this time. And then I just brush over the dark areas. And once I have adjusted that layer, I'm going to create the selection by pressing Ctrl and clicking on that thumbnail. I'm also activating the RGB layer again. And I'm going back to the layers tab. Then I want to further work on the selection by modifying it. First I want to expand it by one pixel and then I'm going to select again modify and smooth it. Again I'm choosing one pixel for that. Okay and then with the background layer selected I'm going to click on the layer mask icon and then invert the layer mask by pressing ctrl I. Alright and this already looks like a pretty decent selection. Now it's time to place the new sky into the background and therefore I'm going to use this Milky Way shot which I just copy and paste. Of course I need to place it so it fits the image. Okay and you can see the selection did a really great job. Let's work on the blending to make this composite image look more realistic. 
So first the foreground is way too bright. So I'm going to apply a brightness and contrast adjustment layer and I clip it to the foreground by pressing the Alt key and click between those two layers. And then let me reduce the brightness quite a bit. I also want to add some contrast. Okay, something like this looks pretty good. I think I want to add some kind of blue color cast to the trees. So I'm going to apply a curves adjustment layer and again I'm clipping it to the trees layer. And in that curves adjustment I'm going to select the blue channel and I'm just dragging up the curve a little bit. Not too much though. Okay, and maybe I need to reduce the opacity even. Alright, next I want to work on the Milky Way image. Um, therefore I'm selecting the layer and go to filter and camera wall filter. Basically I want to reduce the temperature a tiny bit. I also want to reduce the exposure and add some contrast and some whites and maybe also some clarity. Uh, maybe some vibrance. And I'm going to apply some noise reduction. Okay. And then I want to fill those missing background spots you can see at the bottom of the image. Therefore, I'm just duplicating the Milky Way layer by pressing Ctrl J. And then I just drag it down. Maybe I can flip it vertically. Let's further work on the Milky Way background. I think I need to brighten it up a little bit more. And I'm going to apply another brightness contrast adjustment layer. And at this time I am increasing the brightness quite a lot. But I'm filling this layer mask with black. So this adjustment layer isn't visible anymore. And then I'm going to brush back in some parts of that adjustment layer, which I will later use to add some glow effect to the image. Okay, so let's try it again with the glow layer. Again, I'm changing the blending mode to hard light. Choose the brush tool and go to 10% opacity. Then I'm choosing a fitting color and start with a really small brush size. And I increase the brush size after every brush. Actually, I think I need to place the glow on a different spot, somewhere around up here. So let's apply some more glow with the same method. Okay, I think that looks quite nice. Uh, next, I'm going to merge all those previous layers into one layer. And then I'm going to check if I can add any Nick collection effects. And in this case, I want to go with a classical soft focus just to add this nice overall glow. But I'm going not with the first method, but with the second soft focus method. All right, because I don't want to overdo this image, I'm only going to add one last thing and that's a vibrance adjustment layer just to add some more subtle saturation to the image. Okay, and that's it for editing this composite image. I hope everything was understandable, especially the part with the luminance mask and the selections. But let's do a small recap. So first I had this original raw image which I edited in Lightroom and then opened the image in Photoshop where I created the selection to remove the sky. After selecting the sky I have replaced it with the Milky Way shot, adjusted the foreground so it fits the darker night colors and then I worked on the Milky Way a little bit more, adding some brightness, added some local glow to the image and then finally added an overall glow and as well as some vibrance. So again, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful and if you'd like to see more content like this then please feel free to subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching this video.